Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back with a new session and here we are going to discussing about our new topic that is called uh, how to download and install AppM inspector. Okay, you can copy this inspector and you can go to here open for chrome search downloader okay this is the link we can able to come to here and then we need to click for appm inspector here once you click the first link okay you need to click the first link we can able to see there is a latest version of appm inspector will be presented here okay this is the last five days okay and as per today this is the latest version okay whenever you see if you see the next week only, there's the latest version. In case if you see after one year, maybe you can feel it about this is not the latest version, okay? Don't worry bother about it. And that moment, which is the latest version, you can please choose it, okay? And here, we can able to see for, there is a Windows EXE. This is a Windows EXE will be presented, okay? You need to download, okay? You need to click for this APM inspector. Once you click this APM inspector, it will download in your local and then we can able to start with a double click on that particular EXE and it will show for Windows. Okay, it will show like this pop up and do not run some security issue type. Don't worry about it. Just click on more info. Okay, once you click on more info, it will show for run anyway. Okay, please click on run away. In case if you are not seeing these two videos or uh, two screens and directly you are getting this one it means no problem. You can click for install it. In case if you are seeing this one, you can choose it. Otherwise, skip these two steps. Okay. And here we need to choose for only for me. Only for me and your name will be presented. Okay. And install should be presented here. Okay. Don't choose for first one. Just this is the only for me and install. Okay. Then you need to go for here and it will uh, comes to installation location and then it will come for finishing. Okay. Once you've done, this is the one it will be display. Okay. After that, it will be look like this one in that uh, home uh, in a desktop. It will be appm inspector will be presented. Okay. And this is the our appm inspector. Okay. And this is my APM inspector we can able to provide. This is a desired capability. If you see from my starting uh, videos, which is uh, introduction about the mobile app. And there I explain for desired capabilities presented to connecting for your app. Okay, for that app, it will create for one session ID. Based upon the session ID, it will go on sit into your APM, which is an emulator or simulator or real device. Which device you are doing, right? That it will go on connected for by using UI automator, right? For here, we can able to provide some, which is the name we are going to provide like app, app name and text we need to choose, which is the app like uh, Android, iOS, which one we need to use it and uh, the location, the app where it is presented. Those all the things we need to provide for in the desired capability. And this is a port. It will start for your, uh, uh, this, APM inspector and we need to use this and then we need to use it. Okay, here will be, there is a default uh, host required to 127.0.0.1 uh, will be there and this is a port. And if you have any remote path, we need to pass that remote path here and we need to pass for SSL as well. Okay, if we can able to click for uh, advanced settings in case if you are using for company, laptop and there is required for uses in the proxies and all then we need to set up here any certification required then we need to set provide here okay otherwise we can able to start for that without anything if it is required then you can provide otherwise no need to provide you can just for hit for sir after providing desired capability start for session it will start for your session okay this is a complete information about appm inspector even you can able to see here the new session window uh, checking for update open save any about if you click for about it will show for entire data 
and uh, full screen languages, what are the languages supporting all the things, it will be presented. In help also, the inspector documentation presented, APM uh, documentation also presented. If you click for inspector and it will give you some in detailed format, how that APM inspector, that GitHub location, it will comes. And this is the UI, it will be presented, which is an emulator or your real device or a simulator. That is a device and we can able to see for selected element will be presented. Okay. These are the things we can able to see in that while we are working. Okay. If you click for APM documentation, there also it will provide for that entire APM documentation. If you search here, capabilities also it will be presented. Yeah, capabilities. Here will be capabilities are presented. No need to bother about it. It will provide uh, directly information to you. You can search for browser name, browser version, platform, which platform you are passing. And APM normal uh, present is a platform name. That is a platform name is required. And uh, automation name, which is the one we are going to use. And uh, APM uh, colon app, which app you are going to use, Android, iOS, which device you are going to use, uh, emulator, real device, uh, iOS device, which device. These are all the things yeah, it will provide for end-to-end -end information. You can able to come to here and based upon that you can provide for desired capability and connect your device by using for AppM Inspector. Okay, this is simplest information for you and the next video session we can able to how we can able to hit for the server and we can able to go ahead. Okay, this we'll see for next video session. Okay, thank you.